The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. After a big run back by Garrett Armstrong, KT on the Wildcat offense. Garrett Armstrong with the sweep right, 12-yard gain, first down, KT inside the high point 20. KT four plays for 32 yards on their first possession. Garrett Armstrong scores, 7 0 KT over high point. KT back on offense. Quarterback Kyle Potton under heavy pressure has the pass picked off by Paul Staple. He takes it inside the KT 30 for a big defensive play. Now second 11 for high point, quarterback Tim Linder on the play action, throws it up. Tim O'Malley takes it away from the defender. A heck of a catch. First and goal for the Cats. Next play, Sean Barry into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point was blocked. Make it 7-6. Kids team leads high point late in the first quarter. High point back on offense. Paul Staple on the quick handoff up the middle. Gets a nice block. He has an open field. Outruns the defense. Look at him go. 85 yards. Paul Staple with the touchdown. And a two-point conversion for high point. They now lead Kittini 14-7 at Kittini. Here comes Kittini on offense. The pitch to Jake Brook follows his blockers for a 19-yard gain inside the high point 40. Jake Brook takes the pitch. Carefully allows his offensive line to block for him. Finds a seam. He goes 31 yards for a touchdown run, four plays, 65 yards. Extra point ties the game at 14 at the half at Romer Field. High point driving to take the lead right here. High point quarterback Tim Linder throws it up right to Dylan Wonder of Kittini. He runs it back to his own 31-yard line. Later on in the game, high point in punt formation. Looks like the punter shanks it. It's picked up by Dylan Wonder, who runs it back to the high point 36. Kittini quarterback Kyle Potton out of the shotgun. He floats it up in the air to Matt Mozinski. Nice catch, but he stepped out of bounds. 35-yard pass play right there. And the Cougars will have to settle for three. 36-yard field goal. Nick Pasterpo, it's good to make it 17-14 with seconds left in the third quarter. Fourth quarter we go right now. Garrett Armstrong for Kittini. Breaks it outside, turns the corner. He rumbles inside the high point 10 to make it first and goal. Now Kittini faced with a third down situation. Kyle Potton, play action. The pass is battled away by Durango Pettit, setting up fourth down. Kittini has to settle for three. Second field goal of the game, 27 yarder. Nick Pasterpo and Kittini beats High Point. The final score, 20 to 14 at Kittini. It's huge. You know, we had a lot of momentum coming out of last year with a couple good wins, and now we're carrying it over into this year, and that's all we want. Now we got Hackstown next week. Oh, this is huge. Um, I mean, the team's happy now. We got our morale up, and, uh, you know, hopefully we have a good week uh, practice next week, and uh, we'll go to ha here again and beat Hackstown. It's huge, uh, especially when we broke up the SCIL, you know, coming back and playing playing this team and getting a win under our belt, especially for the first win with all the games coming up. It's going to it's gonna really boost our confidence. We're going to have a good season. When I had week one open up, Last year, they changed the schedule week one. I got a lot of phone calls, uh, you know, because a lot of teams have open week one for an independent game. And, uh, you know, when, when High Point called, I just something just told me, I know we're going against a little bigger school, they're a physical football team. I said, you know what, they're, they're our rival. Um, you know, it started through all the wrestling years, and I think even in football it's been a rivalry. It's been a great football game. been some great matches. And, you know, I said we're supposed to play this football game today. It just, it just felt so. I just, I went to Mr. Carroll, the athletic director, and I said, "Hey, let's put, let's put High Point on the docket. Uh, Bill does a great job over there. They got some great coaches, and we're looking forward to the, the home and away. You know, I guess you know we'll open it up for them next year. But it, it just felt like it was right to play High Point. Let's get one of those old SCL opponents and, and let's go at them. And it was everything everybody wanted. You know, yeah, like I said, you know, you got your three dollars worth today. I think if you're in the stands." After a big kickoff return for Kittatinny, they march down the field on four plays, 36 yards for a touchdown, and that kind of set the momentum for the day for the Cougars. That was huge. Uh, Armstrong running the Wildcat offense, you know, me just being out there kind of like a decoy, and he ran it great. You know, the line blocked great, um, made huge holes, and we drove right down. We've been working on Wildcat since last year, and then I dislocated my hip, and then uh, we got back into it this year, and we've been working on it, and. Offensive line block great, Dylan sealed the uh, linebackers and things like that. And uh, I had space to run and I took it and ran. 